Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash and I create beginner guides for Final Fantasy XIV. Today I wanted to go over what gear you should be using and or buying when leveling up in Final Fantasy XIV from 1 to the current cap of 79. This is a piece of information that most people find out at the end of the game, but it could really be helpful for beginner players to understand how gear leveling works so they don't make any bad purchases. As always, I will be as detailed and efficient as possible for you guys so you can learn the most in the littlest amount of time. If you have any topics that you would like me to cover, then leave a comment down below and make sure to boop that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Final Fantasy XIV does a lot of good things, but there are a few things that they rely on their novice network or player-player interaction to handle. And one of those things is informing players how to gear up while they are leveling. Well, I am here to be that resource for you. I will break down each chunk of leveling from 1 to 80 since 80 is our end game cap. It will differ, but the same principles should apply moving forward. I will also be mentioning city names, but will give no indication of story in order to minimize spoilers as well as blurred dungeon names. Let's first talk about item level for brand new players. Item level is the culmination of gear and jewelry to create your total item level. This determines where your stats are in relation to dungeons and trials. Every dungeon up to level 49 will just have a level requirement, and item level won't really matter. With that being said, you should equip all new pieces of gear as long as they're stronger than your current ones. Once you hit level 50 and beyond, you'll have a level requirement and an item level requirement in order to play the content. This makes sure that you're not under geared for a fight and able to contribute to the DPS, healing, or the tanking of each battle. Starting off in the beginning of the game, levels 1 through 49. This is all about enjoying the story and just equipping what gets dropped through quests and dungeons. I would not go out of your way to gear up like doing dungeons over and over or side quests as the game does a pretty decent job of providing you with the gear you need. You can also scour the market board for what you need if a piece of your gear is really lacking behind the rest. Mostly I find that jewelry is the one that falls behind as you'll be level 44 with level 17 jewelry. Make sure to keep up on your class quests as they will drop gear for you as well. 50 to 60. Here is where a lot of the confusion is so I will break it down for you. Your main goal here is to use your new poetics currency to buy the gear you need from an appropriate vendor. Poetics will be your main gear all the way up to level 79. I want to say this now at the beginning of the video and I will explain as we go along. But Poetic Gear, which is the main currency to buy past gear, is meant to allow you to play through each expansion without having to upgrade your gear. Let me explain. The first Poetics you can buy is at Mordona, which is where you end up after a Realm Reborn. And that Poetics gear is item level 130. This will keep you well above any requirements needed until the next expansion's vendor in Idleshire. We can confirm this by going into our duty finder and looking at the dungeon requirements. From the last dungeon of A Realm Reborn to the level 59 dungeon in Heaven's Ward, which is the next expansion, the item level requirements are item level 90 to item level 120. You can see now that if you were to get Poetics from Mordona, you'd be well above needing to change any gear until level 60 as you meet the requirements for each dungeon coming up. This is true for level 60 as well. Once you meet all the requirements for a place called Idleshire, then you can be saving your Poetics in order to purchase a level 60 Poetic gear with an item level of 270. Again, if we check the duty finder, you can see that all Heaven's Ward's dungeons from 60 to Stormblood dungeons to 69 are item level 142 to item level 260. Are you seeing the pattern here? Let's continue. Level 70 Poetic gear in Rogar's Reach, these will provide you item level 400 gear. Cross-checking from the duty finder one more time, the first level 70 Stormblood dungeon to the last dungeon in Shadowbringers is item level 280 to item level 390. Like I said earlier in the video, poetic gear is meant to keep you geared without having to upgrade with dungeon gear, trial gear, or anything else. I played my whole entire playthrough with just poetic gear up until level 79. 
That being said, dungeon gear and other gear is not important as a lot of it is used for glamours now. So always make sure that you look at your gear and try it on to see if you want to incorporate it into your outfit or overall glamour system. Level 80 or endgame cap is where all this changes. Poetics is only used for pass gear and not used for level cap. I will briefly go over level capped gear in this video. Since it is so extensive, I won't be covering everything but just giving a general overview. With level cap gear, we introduce two new tombstones that change periodically. We have tombstones of allegory at 2000 and tombstones of revelation at 450 cap a week. Yes, you heard that right. You can only get 450 tombstones of revelation a week. This is put into place so you can't power grind and pretty much break the game. The 2000 tombstones is not capped. You can get as many as you want as long as you keep spending them. But the 450 you can only get once a week. And no matter how much you spend, you can't get any more than 450. These tombstones do change from time to time, but the same principle applies. For the most part, doing your daily roulettes with a capped job of level 80 will give you each of these tombstones in order to buy gear from the relative vendor. If you just want to get poetics, then you'll be doing the daily roulettes with any job under level 79. There is also an option to buy crafted gear from the market board. You can also get augmented gear from certain vendors. Unfortunately, and fortunately, there are multiple ways to gear for Final Fantasy XIV and sometimes gets confusing to keep track of. If you have any questions about the current way to get gear from the time you are watching this video, just comment down below and I will respond and update you. Well, that's the end of my video. I hope that this helps all the new adventures of Eorzea with gearing up to cap. It is not overwhelming as the game might make you think. If you got any value out of this video, please consider supporting me with a like to this video and a subscribe down below as it keeps me making content similar to this. Hope you all have a great day.